For working with points, let's first examine the point defaults. In the points menu, hit point defaults. In this dialog box, you are able to control the display and placement of the points. It is important to remember that these are default settings. These settings can be overridden with individual routines. Placing points can be done through Kogo routines, manually through draw locate points, various survey routines, field to finish, and a host of other methods within the Carlson software. The point prop label settings controls not only the display of the attributes, but the prompts for when those points are being placed. There are options to add prefix and suffix to each point. One important factor in placing points is locate on real Z axis. When this option is enabled, the points will not only be placed in the drawing on the X and Y axis or northing and easting, but at the true elevation in the point. In other words, if a point has an elevation of 100, it will have a Z value of 100 in the drawing. The point block and symbol and node will all be placed at that elevation. When disabled, the point will be drawn at elevation zero. The attribute containing the elevation will still remain, and the program will use the Z value from the coordinate file instead of the entity itself. When manually entering data, such as traverse and side shot routines, you have the option to carry an instrument height and rod height. The attribute layout ID gives you nine options which control the display of the attributes themselves. The default symbol can be selected from the symbol library. Alternatively, you can have the program prompt for a symbol name each time a point is placed. There are options to use point numbers and automate them in a consecutive order. When manually entering survey information such as traverse and side shot, you can control the vertical angle mode. Separate layers controls the attributes themselves for each point as well as the symbol. This allows you the ability to place and control the attributes on layers of your choosing. The default layer for points is the layer that all points will be placed on unless otherwise specified. There is an option to draw point nodes. When enabled, a AutoCAD or IntelliCAD point, commonly termed a node, is placed underneath the symbol and point block. Remember that the symbol, selected here through the symbol library, is placed over the top of the point location. The node itself will be the entity that is linked to the coordinate file. When this option is disabled, the point block itself will be the link between the drawing and the coordinate file. The default condition is to have point nodes drawn. There is also another option for annotative points. When using annotative points, points will be drawn at the current annotated scale. When the annotation scale is then changed in the drawing, the points will automatically resize to the new scale. If you are new to the idea of annotative text, points, and symbols, it is recommended to not use this option. Masking point attributes essentially adds a text mask or wipeout to each attribute. Using field to finish for point styles is another option for those who are already using a field to code table. So if a code table was already set for a point description such as an iron pipe to be placed on a layer called monuments, you would set to that field code table and each time a point with the description iron pipe was placed in the drawing, it would be placed on that layer with this correct symbol. In order for this option to work, you must first have a code table set. Using code tables is covered extensively in other training materials and videos. Once these point defaults are set, they will stay until otherwise changed. To place those points in the drawing, we can use the simple option of Draw Locate Points. This dialog box contains multiple options for settings, such as drawing only the nodes or elevation text. One useful option is the Locate Within. 
A perimeter polyline, for instance, would allow you to specify a specific area of a site and only the points would be drawn within that area. Point label settings allow you to override the point defaults as far as displaying descriptions, elevations, and point numbers, as well as locate on real Z axis, which you see is on. Note the duplicates option. Most users will find it best to have this option set to erase and redraw. This option prevents any duplicate points from being placed in a drawing. Fix overlapping point attributes is an option to have the program eliminate attributes from being placed on top of one another. A symbol size scale controls the symbol and the attribute size. The layer name is a single layer of which all the points will be placed. To demonstrate that, I will draw all points. All points are drawn from the coordinate file into the drawing. To demonstrate the placement of the points on real Z axis, we'll take a look from the view menu at 3D view and use the drawing viewer. I will select all the points by window and hit return. As you can see, the points have been placed at a true Z axis elevation. In this viewer, you can set a vertical scale exaggeration to better view the Z value of the points. By returning to the Draw Locate Points menu, we can see another option to draw points by point group. In this file, we have two point groups, EDM and GPS. This allows us to place the points on separate layers based upon the point groups. So if we draw the EDM points first, simply select Draw Point Group, select the group that we would like to draw, and press OK. We could repeat that process and put the points on a separate layer for the GPS points. I look at the layers, you will notice that there are now two points layers which can be frozen or controlled independently. Another way to control the placement of points in the drawing is to use the Group Manager. These point groups were created automatically upon the import of the point data. If we would like to place the EDM points in the drawing, we can highlight that group under Points and say Insert into Drawing. These points are drawn using the current point defaults. We can repeat that process and insert the GPS points. Once this is complete, you can control the points by removing those prefer not to see. All of these points are drawn with respect to the current point defaults as well as the general settings in Carlson Configure. These points and the symbols associated are disconnected. In other words, I can move the symbol free from the rest of the point block or node. Some users prefer to group all these entities together. That is accomplished through the setup configuration in Carlson Configure under General Settings and the option to group point entities. If I turn that option on and redraw these points, I am now unable to move the symbol without moving the point as well. Note the warning that if you do move a point node, you will be prompted with a warning that your coordinate file is being updated. To list or report the points in a coordinate file or drawing, you can use List Points. You can enter in a range of point numbers, select all, or use your point groups. If you use the Use Report Formatter option, it allows you to control what entities will be displayed and in which order, giving you more control over your report. It also gives you the option to use all the advanced tools that Carlson has for reporting and creating custom reports for clients, municipalities, or your own company. as well as an option to draw a table directly in your drawing with complete control 
over the cosmetics of the table.